Okay, this is a vocab and context question, meaning we'll have a vocabulary word and we want to ignore that word and we want to come up with our own word based on context. Okay, so we're looking for the word here, temporal. Okay, we go back to line 13 and we get rid of the word temporal and we try to put in our word based on context. It says, but researchers actually found a surprising temporal relation between subjective experience and objectively measured neural events. Well, what was this interesting, surprising blank relation? Well, the idea here is that your subjective experience, I'm perceiving myself about to move my hand. I made the intention, I'm going to do it. That subjective experience and what actually happens in your brain, they didn't match up. So this temporal relation, what happens first, what happens second. So what are we dealing with here? Well, we're dealing with time. So this time-based relation. And now that I've been able to think through this word myself in context of the passage, now I can match it up with the answer choices. So let's look at A, secular, of relating to the non-spiritual world. Interestingly enough, mundane is very similar to that as well. Temporal affairs, you know, a little mundane, so that makes sense from a trap standpoint. And again, if you see a vocab and context question and you just try to match up this word with the answer choices, that's how you'll get trapped. Don't do that. Come up with your own word. Ours was time-based. Numerical and time-based are not the same thing. Physiological, another trap because we're dealing with the brain and neural events, so it's easy to think, oh, it's physiological. But again, ours was time-based or answer choice E, chronological.